please forgive the overexposure. It's my way of hiding how very, very tired I am. Well, thank God it's Friday. This week's theme is about our hometown and just, I guess, talking about it. Matt covered a lot of the points about Kingston yesterday, and uh, being that we're from the same town, I don't suppose that I'm going to go over his points too much. I guess I'm pretty proud of Kingston because it was Canada's first capital. I went to college in Ottawa, so I've lived in both of Canada's capitals. We don't have problem with buildings here in Kingston, which, you know, would be even cooler, but whatever. My family's been here for like 300 years um, since it was Fort Frontenac and Fort Cataraque and then eventually Kingston and we've been around for a while. I have family who are United Empire loyalists as well so there's a, a fairly um, uh, strong uh, UEL um, connection here in Kingston and the Quinty area. I'm also technically from Amherst Island which is where my family lives, which is just a little bit west of Kingston and, you know, off the shore into Lake Ontario. Um, it's like part of the Thousand Islands, but sort of not part of the Thousand Islands because the Thousand Islands are technically in the mouth of the St. Lawrence River, but Amherst Island is actually in Lake Ontario. It gets included in some lists and left out of others. It, it could be considered to be the first island in Lake Ontario. I don't know. I don't really care. It's where I'm from. It's a little community of 400 people um, that live four miles offshore in Lake Ontario. The island is shaped like a squid that's swimming toward the mouth of the St. Lawrence River. Uh, it's very beautiful. My family has been there since, you know, the earth pushed up through the surface of the water. It's kind of um, special to me. My family comprises approximately 250 of the 400 residents of Amherst Island. We're a big clan. My family has a farm on the island. In fact, my grandparents and three of their sons live in four consecutive houses on the third concession um, that span approximately a mile. And uh, the farm, about 400 and some odd acres worth of farmland, is there in addition to some, you know, other not farmland. Uh, so that's, that's where I spend my weekends. But, you know, it's, this is a nice area, I think, um, to be in. I came back here from Ottawa to be closer to my family. I have a few complaints, I suppose. I'm not a particularly big fan of the transit system in Kingston. I think that um, the city could spend a little bit more uh, cash on the transit system and um, upgrading it and making it better. I feel a moral imperative in today's greenhouse gas conscious age to use public transportation and they don't make it easy. I've ranted before about the LVEC, the large venue entertainment center that was built here in Kingston um, to the tune of some $47.5 million dollars um, which was totally unnecessary, um, but that our mayor wanted to build for his buddy. I've also mentioned the fact that our city council seems to think that it's still 1742 and that no buildings in the city should be higher than four stories. We have a fair amount of problems here in Kingston. Our infrastructure is ancient given the fact that the city is very, very old. We have an issue of a great deal of contamination because when the city was first founded and for many, many years, it was a heavy manufacturing town, the Kingston Locomotive Works, the tannery, um, there was a coal facility, and there's just a great deal of, of pollution under the ground here. And so new projects that are undertaken require a great deal of environmental cleanup, which extremely bloats the costs of those initiatives and therefore makes them more difficult to accomplish. As well, our Ravensview uh, sewage treatment plant is wholly insufficient to uh, handle the capacity of sewage that the city produces, even if the sewers could actually get it to the plant. So we end up dumping a great deal of raw sewage into the Cataraqui River, which then subsequently flows into Lake Ontario. All this to say, I still love my city. I'm very proud of all of the things that Matt mentioned. I hear it all the time that Kingston is just a little backward town, a little almost but not quite city. But I just love this place, and I think that 
um, that everyone else should too. I think that if you come to Kingston and you experience it and you just take it for what it is, that you can really find that it's a very nice place to be and a nice place to live. I guess that's it for Friday. I'll see you next week.